for the lighting in advance. Rigging up a ventilation for my bamboo X1 carbons. What I've got rigged up is I've printed these at a PETG HF. They're magnetic, but I've learned that nothing likes to stick to PETG HF. So I've had to use packing tape like you'd use for uh, the red tuck tape to hold the magnets on. But other than that, it's pretty clean. Got that down to here to a uh, T-splitter I printed. It's just PLA, it's not gonna get a lot of heat. Then I've got it over here. I'm gonna strap this down to an inline fan, variable speed, pretty quiet. Down to here where it's gonna go out a dryer vent, but I've also purchased Right there is a one-way backdraft, so it blocks the uh, wind from outside. And uh, yeah, then it vents all the harsh chemicals outside and it's a little bit safer for my wife and me and my dogs and all over everybody that comes to visit me. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's the ventilation I rigged up. Most of it you can obtain off Amazon, these clamps. Uh, you're gonna print these, they're right on uh, Maker Lab. These are too, and this is also Amazon. If you got any questions, get at me, and I'll uh, definitely tell you what I did. We'll do the calibration, and then I will fire it up, and I'll let you know if it smells. And I gotta load these up. I was away, got all kinds of filament, and I'm ready to rock. I just wanted to have ventilation so I didn't get stuffed up and have the higher smells in the house, like I say. Thing you could do to uh, get better better draw through it so it pulls more air is you could pull your carbon filters they're up in here i mean i'm gonna leave mine in just to test it to see how it works but i noticed the minute i pull them out it's just like but it's pulling a lot of air and i don't want to lose a lot of heat it is middle of winter here we're in canada it's cold so i don't want to pull all the heat out of my printers and like i say this is just a test but I know it's venting the chemicals for sure when I do it. Now I want to see how much I want to do that. So usually it's a, uh, I can smell it by now and it's doing the extrusion. So I'll have to see, I don't smell anything. I'm really close as you can see, like I can't smell it. So that's nice. Be a lot better to breathe fresh air. We'll update. I'll put another kind in this one and we'll see what happens. Extremely cold night outside, so I was worried about cold coming up the pipe, like I showed you guys earlier. And uh, but it's cold and 25 and heating up. It's been printing for I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I'm starting some ABS in here. Let's see what happens. It's at 21 without going, so let's see what goes on here. So it's only been running about yeah two or three minutes, and yeah, I don't smell anything. And this is ABS. I can usually smell that for. So, I don't smell anything, I'm really close, less than a foot away, and I can't smell it at all. So, I'm going to go outside and do a smell test on my vent, I'll bring these along with me. So, this is where I've got it vented to, and, you know, you can see a very little bit of steam coming out, not like a dryer would, but I'm going to kneel down and see if I can smell it. Oh! Oh, yeah. The ABF smell is really, really strong, guys. I did not need to get down there and do that, but you got to see it and laugh at me for doing it. So that's working really well. I'm quite pleased with it, and it wasn't real expensive to do, and uh, I'm going to go back inside and check how it's going. Walking into my print room, I smell absolutely no ABS smell at all, and it's printing along, and as, as you saw, <laughs> it really smells outside, so... This is working great. I'll update over the next few prints, but I think that I'm, uh, I've got a winning ventilation system for now. And I may or may not pull the carbon filters, depending. I know I can get a lot more airflow doing that, but I don't think I need it. But I'll keep you updated on how they're holding heat. This one is at 30.4, and that one is just heating up. It's almost 30, so I'll keep you updated. Thanks guys for watching, and. Sub for more content on RC and 3D printing.